So we're in this anchorage and something keeps hitting us. We've got plenty of room underneath of us. It's just that something keeps running into us pretty hard. So we're gonna move. <laughs> All right, I'm going forward. We're free? Okay. How's this speed? I've never been able to do that. Oh, you. Well, it's like full in reverse. Yeah, but you're going straight. Yeah. That's amazing. All right, uh, you wanna go here? Yeah. Well, let, let's go put the bow over in that area. I'll drop the hook there and I'll put a stern line. called the tourist tree because it looks like it's sunburnt and peeling. We're walking to Publix, the nearest grocery store. It's about a mile down the road. I saw a bunch of coconut trees, so then I started looking around for coconuts, and I found one that rats hadn't gotten into. Because rats will climb up, and you know a rat ate it because there's a hole here where they just like gnawed their way in. So, this one looks good, and when you shake it, you hear a little bit of water, and when you tap on it, it sounds kind of dull, and it's full. So, like I said, we're going to have some coconut water. So. In Puerto Rico, the way they open it, when you buy it, is they take, just hold it and then take a machete and lop the top off. And I'm always like, one slip and there goes your hand. So we don't have a machete, and I also like my fingers. So we're going to use a knife and a mallet. So there we're starting. Oh, That's yeah. the coconut part. So... Cut it open. <laughs> if you cut a... Oh. <gasps> wow. Cool. That's so much. Yes. <sighs> That's coconut water. <laughs> cool. Sip? Yeah. I've never had this before. what I expected at all. It's so different. Now this one is young so it's full of water and the meat's pretty thin. So if we look here at the meat you see it's barely got any meat on it. So 
tonight we're having a torrential downpour. I mean, it's just buckets coming down. So we got the rain collectors open, and thankfully, since we have the dinghy upside down on our deck, we're able to open the the uh, hatch in the salon. So we still get airflow while it's raining without getting water inside. But it is just coming down hard. Filling the tanks with water. We're gonna fill the tanks with rain. Worth it. It's very worth it. We just recovered our stern hook and once we get our bow hook up we're going to head to that bridge that's opening tomorrow morning at 7 30 in the morning and, and that way we are guaranteed to be there right when it opens and we will not miss it now back on the move the bridge is supposed to open tomorrow so we're going to get there today and anchor right by it that way we are not late for it We made it here to the bridge. It's gonna open at 7.30. We are ready. Uh, the reason we had to really kind of rush here is because after it opens tomorrow, we don't know when the next opening will be. April 30th. April 30th. So we better get through there. So we anchored right next to it and set an alarm. And so we will be through it and headed to West Palm Beach tomorrow. And we are not alone here. There are a bunch of other people who have also decided to anchor right outside the bridge, and I'm sure that they are waiting as well. met some people prior to being here and it happens that they're in the same anchorage. We've been growing this basil plant named Bubbles for a while now. So we found the crack in there and I'm able to chip off little pieces from the side. Thanks so much for watching and if you want to become a sailing buddy you can click the link down below to our Patreon account. Don't forget to like this video and subscribe to our channel and when you click subscribe make sure you click on the little bell in the annotation. That way you get notifications as soon as our next video is uploaded. Thanks so much!